Okay, so the time now is around 11.57. Walking over to the Charlie Kirk Festival, whatever's going on over there. Walking. Bit of a crowd. There's a dude on a guy's shoulder over there. Oh, they're they're handing out stuff. Yeah, let's go check it out. There's a lot of people here. here to Nevada in five minutes or less. Where's our voter registration team? Where are you guys? They're all over the place. All, all back there. Hey, guys, hold up all the clipboards. So, it's not enough just to attend, especially my California friends. Change your registration here to Nevada, all right? Let's have some fun, guys. God bless. I want to uh, pursue performing arts, and uh, that comes from practice, and college provides opportunities for that. I also understand that there's a lot of there's a lot of negatives that come from college, like extra classes that you don't need to take. Uh, so I was wondering, like, what would uh, do you have like a proposal, uh, something that could fix it, or an alternative? Well, thank you, Matthias. That's a great question. Um, I would instead, first and foremost, everyone needs to know what you're signing up for. And when I say college is a scam, some people who are studying medicine or engineering are going to do a lot better than people that are studying sociology. Half of the people in this audience, if you get a job, will get a job that doesn't require a college degree. Half the people in this audience. You guys are being actively scammed. You're, you guys are being told to take classes that don't matter. How many of you guys take classes that are a waste of time? Raise your hand. You, you made this point, right? No, no, for sure. And how many of you guys think you're paying way too much for college right now and there's waste? Yes. Yeah. I mean, so, you're, make, you're making my point for you. As far as the performing arts, use your use wisdom. See if college is going to be worth the time, the energy, and potentially the debt. And if not, then it's a good use for you. When I say college is a I'm trying to raise awareness for the millions of people that feel forced and thrust into an environment when there are other options. There are 11, there are 11 million well-paying jobs in this country right now that do not require college degrees. And I think we need to do a better job of elevating this. God bless you, Matthias. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Next, come on up. Disagreements, you guys? Anyone? Agreement? Come on up. Yes, sir. <laughs> 
I'm in the I'm in the United States Air Force, and so. <laughs> Someone who wants to serve my country, um, as someone who wants, who's about to serve my military and put my life on the line for this country. Um, it's tough knowing that our nation promotes things like abortions and transitioning kids. Um, how do you reconcile serving a country that upholds these values um, like these, and how can we as conservatives fight against these policies uh, while still serving proudly? First of all, what's your name? Hayden. Hayden, thank you for wanting to serve our country. You should be applauded for that. Uh, thank you. <laughs> To serve your country, not your government, right? You swear an oath to the Constitution and the people of the country, not the government. Those are two different things. We have great people in this country. We have fallen. We are definitely in a place where I think we're in moral decline. Look at the goodness that still exists in this country. And you're, you're fighting to uphold those ideals, that kids can live in a free society. You are not fighting to uphold the broken, terrible, wretched decisions of Kamala Harris in the government. And those are two different things. We as conservatives differentiate between love of country and distrust and disdain of the government. Those are two different things. And the country is about our tradition, our history, our values, our people, our culture. And the government is just a temporary stakeholder of charlatans, criminals, and people that are constantly deceiving us and stealing from us. So how do you reconcile it? Every day that you go to fight for us, you say, I'm not fighting for politicians. I'm fighting for the three-year-old right now in Reno, Nevada, that they can have a better future. I'm fighting for the homeschool parent. I'm fighting for the pastor. I'm fighting so that we can keep on having liberty, life, and the pursuit of happiness. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's what you're fighting for, not the den of thieves in Washington, D.C. God bless you, man. Thank you so much.